Welcome to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Nicholson, here with bite-sized episodes to empower, educate, and enlighten you with ways to lose weight, heal your gut, and achieve your ideal health so you can live an adventure-filled life. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. Today, I wanted to share a case study because I think this is a really common scenario that a lot of people are dealing with, and I want you to know that there is a different way. So this is a case of a woman in her 50s, and she has been suffering, chronically struggling for 28 years. Her main complaints have been that she is just exceedingly tired. She can't get out of bed. She sleeps for a solid 10 or 11 hours of sleep, totally asleep, sound asleep all night long, and has to drag herself out of bed. She can't possibly get the kids up and going. She's just crying in the kitchen every morning because she is so exhausted. And couple that with mental fatigue as well. She can't concentrate. She can't focus. She is just plain exhausted. Every thought, even daily routine thoughts, are just exhausting to her. She has gained 50 pounds really without making any changes. And she's always been a slender, healthy weight person her entire life. And all of a sudden, she's gained 50 pounds. Finally, after years and years and years of fighting this, she was able to get her doctor to run some tests and she was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune attack of the thyroid that causes low thyroid hormone levels. So it's a hypothyroid condition due to autoimmunity. She was put on the most common class of medications, which are a synthetic T4 only medication. Now remember, T4 is the inactive form of hormone that our body also produces the most of, but then we have to convert it to T3 in order for it to be active and doing its job in the body. A lot of people don't make this conversion very well. So she's put on this synthetic T4 only medication over several years. They steadily increase her dose and finally settle at a pretty high level dose and she stays there for the next 10 years. All the while, she has had no change in her symptoms. She is still exhausted. She is still mentally drained. She cannot lose the weight no matter what she does. So this medication isn't really helping her. And now after 10 more years of fighting this and being on this medication, she now has clinical depression as well. Now, this is not just she's sad and frustrated because of all of these symptoms. She has true clinical depression. She is in a very dark space. So ultimately, she got frustrated, got fed up, and ended up doing some online searching. She, there just had to be something else going on. There had to be more answers. And she ended up finding this whole world of functional health practitioners and completely different protocols than she had been on. Through this research and, you know, learning more, she dove head first into more holistic practices. She ended up getting off of the synthetic T4 medication and she ended up taking desiccated thyroid. This is a product that contains natural T3 and T4. So this is not a synthetic product. This is actually thyroid gland generally taken from pigs. So this is an actual thyroid and it contains the real T3 and T4. Within very short order, of her figuring out this proper dosing on the new desiccated thyroid product, she found that her energy shot through the roof. She had so much more vitality, interest in life. She was just really excited about everything again. Her depression completely lifted. She had that mental clarity again. 
She could concentrate. She could focus. She could do all of the things again that she wanted to do. She was present for her family. She was active with her kids and she effortlessly lost the 50 pounds. After 28 years of suffering, all she needed was the right protocol. This was a truly life-changing process for her. Now, I wanted to share this case study because I think it's really powerful in what it looks like to really fight for yourself, to not take a doctor's word that everything is normal or that this medication is going to solve everything. Medicine is really sick care. All they're doing is managing the illness. Their entire goal is not to bring you back to optimal. It's not to reverse your symptoms. It's not to bring you out of sickness. It's to manage sickness. Now, sometimes that's appropriate. Sometimes that's necessary. Sometimes that is the best we can do. But most of the time, that's not true. Conversely, if we look at healthcare from a holistic approach, where we're really taking into account nutrition, exercise, lifestyle, sleep, stress, toxins, appropriate supplementation, then we can really truly bring the body back into balance. Part of the problem with just sending medicines with patients is those medicines are really just either fixing a lab result. So now when they run your blood work, your labs look great, or they're just to kind of manage symptoms. They're not fixing the problem. They're also not looking at correlated body systems. So for instance, the thyroid also really needs the adrenal glands to be working well. Those two systems also need blood sugar management to be working well and insulin levels to be appropriate. Those systems also need the communication to your brain to be working properly because a lot of the brain signals are what trigger all of those organs to make their hormones. You also need proper digestion because if you're not absorbing the nutrients, then you won't be able to absorb selenium and iodine that are necessary for thyroid. You won't be able to absorb the amino acids that you need to build hormones, to build muscles, to build organ tissues. You won't have the fatty acids that you need for hormone building. You also won't have the capacity to detox those hormones when you're done with them. Every system in the body generates byproducts that need to be detoxed. This is a normal process. So as you're making muscles, you end up with byproducts that need to be eliminated. As you're making hormones, you need to eliminate byproducts. You also need to be able to eliminate those hormones when you're done with them and recycle and make new ones. If you can't properly eliminate them, you can end up with high levels of these hormones. Don't have the building blocks. You can't even make the raw materials. So all of these systems have to be able to work together in order to truly be optimal. So you may be taking a medication that's fixing, I'll put in air quotes, one symptom that's allegedly fixing the system, but it's not. And it's not taking into account all of the related systems in the body that also need to be optimized. So you may have perfect thyroid output, but your adrenals are sluggish. Without that proper adrenal function, the thyroid hormones can't do their jobs. Really, all of our systems are connected like a spider web. If you pull on one little thread of that spider web, the whole thing shifts. We can't just mask symptoms. We need to really get back into true balance and bring you into optimal health. So you may need a prescription. That is entirely possible. But you may also be able to get as much or better results from a natural alternative. And it may be that you don't need any of those once you get your holistic approach in place. When you're eating the right foods for your body and your goals, 
when you're getting adequate quality and quantity of sleep, when you're getting the right kind and the right amount of exercise, when you're reducing your toxin burden, when you're optimizing your digestion so that you have those appropriate building blocks and you have all of the pieces that you need to be able to detox properly, to be able to eliminate those toxins properly. When you have all of these components in place, then your body can actually equilibrate back to optimal. So I just really challenge you, if you are struggling with anything, whether your doctor has told you, nope, everything is fine, you're totally normal, or your doctor has said, yeah, here's this condition and here's this pill to fix it. If it doesn't make you feel better, if it's not helping you with the weight gain or the brain fog or the depression or the pain or whatever it is that you were trying to fix, keep fighting. There are better answers. There are different alternative options that you can explore. And I challenge you to work with a holistic practitioner like myself who can help you figure out what that is. Conventional medicine is merely sick care. They're only going to manage your symptoms and your symptoms will continually progress. Conventional medicine is not great at chronic disease. Holistic care is great at chronic disease. So if you really truly do have a condition that you want to reverse, if you want to improve it, if you want to get your quality of life back, I challenge you to reach out. Don't give up until you find the answers. I hope this information is helpful. As always, I would love it if you would leave a five-star review and follow the show so that you always get the new episodes. If you are interested in learning more about what it might look like to work with me, feel free to schedule a complimentary consultation on my website. I will leave a link in the show notes and just know that there's always more answers. There's always another way. You don't have to continue suffering. So in the meantime, until the next episode, be well and vibrant. Thanks for being a faithful listener to the podcast. I'd love it if you left me a five-star review on this podcast so that others can more easily find this valuable information. Did you know I also work one-on-one with clients? I approach solving health challenges like I approached solving crimes by conducting a thorough investigation into your case. Sadly, hundreds of millions of people in the U.S. have insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, and diabetes, and the vast majority have no idea. I'm here to fix that. If you struggle with low energy, stubborn weight, hypertension, sleep disturbances, or any other undesired symptoms, let's talk. All you have to do is schedule a free call. The link will be in the show notes. And no, you do not need to live near me.